what is going on you lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world let me get this armrest down so i can rest my arms you see up at the top left street line fighter 6 high level gameplay hardest cpus what kind of dumbass is over well, who is this my is this by game spot i shouldn't be talking trash but i believe this is game spot i'm not going to bother minimizing it and showing everything anyway nobody in their right minds that has ever played a fighting game that has ever played against the ai has gone oh yeah this is how this is how the game looks when it's played at a high level <laughs> nobody ever so i want to scope this out and see what's going on now i will freely admit to you number one i don't give a shit about both of these characters number two i have already watched this but the problem is that the entire time i was just looking at the system mechanics i wasn't paying any attention whatsoever to like the gameplay now the first thing you're gonna notice I'll just tell you so you don't have time to notice it yourself. These CPUs do not block. Ever. They do not block. Um, of course, we're not going to say that. He blocks right there. But the majority of the time, they're just trying to hit each other. Uh, so, but the very first time, I was mostly trying to figure out all the things. So I'm still kind of sort of figuring out the meat. So the meter up top, like the meter down bottom, I am fairly certain is only for supers. That, like, if you use an EX move, for instance, doesn't use that meter. See, he just used an EX move right there, I think. Wasn't that an EX move? I mean, that was definitely some sort of, some form of special, special move. But it doesn't use the meter. I believe that meter down bottom is only uh, for supers. And then the meter up top underneath is for, like, 5 million different things. So you can use it for EX moves. It also counts as a guard gauge. You see it goes down whenever you guard something. It goes up a little bit whenever you land a hit. So that's more what your traditional meter would be, which I think is going to be kind of irritating that you have that up top in a place that you're not usually looking for this kind of meter stuff. And then down bottom, so this is kind of another thing that I've been that I'm not 100% sure about. I believe you just always have three meters. Not Well, you don't always have three meters, but it goes up to three meters. It's not like in Third Strike, it depended on the super that you picked. Some supers you could go up to three meters, some... Oh, but you do have... Hang on, hang on, let me scroll back real quick. That was a two, level two... That was a level two super. Okay, so you have different... That's another new thing I learned. You have new level... You have different levels of supers. See, he only used one meter right there. But if you're using that with Jamie, maybe it also might be that, that particular super, it just uses all of your meter and how much meter you've had determines how long this lasts for. Because obviously that's just winding down right now, right? And he didn't gain any more meter while he was in the middle of that. But see, like, I mean, they're just trading blows back and forth. Is, there's nothing high level about this. You're never going to see any frame traps. You're never going to see any, like, real mix-up or setups. It's just character one hits this button character two hits this other button and whoever's button starts up faster is the one that gets the hit or you have armor like Ryu just used right there that i gotta watch that again i may have to watch that in slow motion like look at it did this no 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 where the fuck is my mouse dude where is my mouse cursor like actually holy shit i just completely lost it okay let me just pause this really quickly Playback speed as slow as... Oh, wait, you can custom? I've never seen this before. What's custom? Oh. But it can only go down. Okay, that's useless then. Uh, okay. Let me just turn off the sound, because sound when everything's slow sucks. But just watch this hitbox. Like, what is this? The fuck is that? <laughs> it's not even close! Work on that. Please and thank you. I wonder if she has... I like in Street Fighter V, if you want to use Chun-Li, you got to have the legs linked into a normal linked into spinning bird kick. You had to have those combos, otherwise you're not getting damage out of her. See, like, even that is barely... Oh, let me just go back and scope that out real quick. Yeah, they use one meter. All right. Oh, that was almost cool. Ryu with a tea bag. Oh, she has an overhead. That's good to know. That was dirty. People are gonna be pissed about that. Look at this. Standing heavy punch. Hit oh, that's a counter hit. Okay, it's probably because it was a counter hit. But yeah, people hate that button. Oh, people hate that button. In street. I mean, every single game that she's been in, she's had that button, and people hate it. And now she can combo off of it, but that was a counter hit. 
So it's probably counter hit only. But yeah, I mean, they just, they don't block, ever. They just never block. Which is kind of weird, just because you would think it would be the opposite. Like, they would know. Like, I don't have a move. I do not have a move that can beat this. Thus, I should block. Isn't that, like, a really simple addition to their AI? But for some reason, they are just all constantly hitting buttons. Terrible punish. Come on, Ryu. High level. High level. This girl should be dead. I'm glad my girl's not dead, but she should be dead. If this was actually high level in any way, shape, or form. Boom! She'd be dead. There's kind of a strange lack of definition going on in Ryu's biceps. Ow. That's too much. I mean, that's too much slowdown. I don't know how you feel about that, but that's too much slowdown to me. That's too much. That's too much. That's like the entire length, almost the length of a super animation, basically, of the screen just being frozen. Or you just get to sit there. Like, if you're on the receiving end of it, you just get to stand there and contemplate your life. I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, yeah, see, so now let me just, I just noticed that, that it went up, now it says CA. So is that what happens? So he's, he's at three full meters right now. Oh, it must be, so he must get pushed down below a health threshold. Yeah! So you get a souped up super. Ow. Right there. Yeah, I don't know. Feels like if that was the critical art that it's really, it's trying really hard to get you to notice, that would have been a lot cooler than it actually was. So this one is stupid. Somebody fucked up here. Look at this. CPU level 8, CPU level 4. This Ryu just gets absolute body bag. I mean, I guess I'll just let it roll just in case anybody's actually interested in uh, seeing Jamie's moveset. But yeah, this Ryu just gets completely and utterly fucked up. Because of course he does. You know what they say. If you rock the boat. So isn't it, isn't that a perfect? So does it not tell you that you get a perfect in this game? Let me just see if it's health bar. No, that was perfect. Maybe they just don't have perfect tracking in the game yet. Because every single Street Fighter, unless maybe Ryu got a little bit of chip damage in there somewhere that I wasn't. God damn, that was a hard combo. So yeah, maybe Ryu got a little bit of chip in there, and I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know, but yeah, that's... Don't do that. If you want people to watch, and you want people to be like, Wow, this is impressive combat between two high-level CPUs. Maybe don't throw in a low-level CPU in there. Just get their ass kicked. That looked plus, again. I mean, to be fair, it also looked very easy to anti-air. Because she had to go so high in the air before that started and before the kick started even landing. But in terms of once it did get blocked, it looked like she recovered before you did. Damn, that wall. Ooh, that was cool. So we might be seeing some kind of. Damn, she's just dancing on his head. I wish she danced on my head. Woo! High level! Huge punish! Thick as fuck! That's a really nice animation on Herky Koken. That's another thing that I'm kind of curious about. High level. High level. Ah, ah. Um. Because they changed her a little bit in Street Fighter V. Oh wait, so that's the last map. Oh yeah, let me just let me just get this frame of Chun Li. Yeah, there we go. What's up, girl? Um, they changed her from being a fully charge-based character with lightning legs, which obviously was not a charge move. But they gave her some other motions. Actually, no, she had motions in whatever. Anyway, um, they made it so that Kikoken was her only no. Fuck it, whatever. Point being, I wonder if she's still a charge character or not. I don't know about that. But what I am interested in is seeing my boy, I looked it up a little bit ago, the first time I watched this, the boy JP. 
you look at all the leaked characters and whatnot, uh, he's wearing, like, kind of a salmon-colored suit, pants, and a vest with a white dress shirt underneath my boy looking clean as hell. I hope that his gameplay is as clean as his design, because he's the character that I'm looking at the most right now. I'm not really... I can't remember everybody else, but I can't really recall seeing many characters that were in the leaked list, especially out of the new characters. And I was like, damn, I'm really, you know, I'm really interested in learning these characters. There really wasn't like all the characters. Oh, Cammy, but I mean, she's not new, right? But I think out of all the returning characters, I like Cammy's design, even though a bunch of people are like, she's not showing her ass anymore. <laughs> she's showing off the abs now. I'm down with it. She, her design looked cool. Um, I like Chun. I like JP. And I don't think I liked anybody else. Like all the other char like all the characters from past Street Fighters that I give a damn about are just they're gone forever apparently. Like C Viper had a bit of a moment in Marvel. Um but I doubt she's coming back to Street Fighter. Necro, I assume, is never coming back to Street Fighter ever. Alex is probably done. Uh Abel is probably done. Who else? Point being, Makoto, Fei Long, they're just, they're just gone. I mean, and those two characters are fan favorites, and they're still just absent. And given that they're not part, like, it feels like with those two characters, because they dodged the entirety of Street Fighter V, if they were going to be in this game, they'd be in the release roster, right? But they're not, so... They could also just be saving them intentionally for DLC, knowing that more people will buy them for DLC than some of the other characters. I don't know. But, oh yeah, there was no Akuma now that I'm thinking about it. So there's definitely, there has to be planned. It's either planned DLC or he's going to be a hidden reveal later on. Because you don't, you don't leave Akuma out of Street Fighter. You just don't do it. Well, anyway. High level.